All righty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Another amp out of the old arsenal. Out of the old collection. This is a Texas Star DX65. Very rare amplifier. You do not find these in circulation a lot. I think this bad boy actually came from old water bug out there in Hawaii. I think that's who I bought it from, if I remember correctly. In my other video, I said, you know, the DX100 is the only AB biased uh, one pill there is. Well, I guess I must have forgot. And obviously, I did because this is this is this is biased as well. It's real hard to tell if this is an actual original DX65 or if that's just the front because there's no schematics on CB tricks of the new 65. It's got the old transformerless 65, meaning the one that's a tuned circuit. They don't have these broadband transformers right here in it. It's, it's actually got coils, but it don't have pictures of the new one, so I can't really tell. Um... If I had to use my guess, this is a true 65, just looking at it, and then looking at the uh, one, the two 100s I have over here. And the reason I say that is just because of the uh, of the components in it. These are very old components, and uh, just the way it's made, it, this does look like this. the DX100 and the 65 are both made pretty much of the same layout. Um, I think the 100 actually is supposed to have a higher transistor, higher wattage transistor in it, but <clears throat> I can tell this one is tuned a little different on the output, but it is what it is. And this thing is a superb, and I mean superb condition. It almost looks like I rebuilt it, but I didn't. This is as it is as I uh, received it from Mr. Waterbug. Give a shout out to old Waterbug too, man. Joker does some nice work. So give a big aloha to you out there, Mr. Waterbug from Gatekeeper out here in the backwoods of Big GA where the cows, cows and horses roam. <laughs> Alright, we got the uh, bench radio hooked up to it, 4 watts RMS, about 20 peak. This is low and SSB delay. Okay. We got the 1000 watt slug in. It will flash on too, but we're looking at the bottom scale where it says 100, that's 1,000 watts, 200 is 200 watts. All right, we're on RMS mode first. Oh, yeah. It's about 20, 30 RMS. We'll put it on high. Oh, yeah, about 50, 60 RMS, which is quite impressive for a little 2072. All right. Over on the peak, we'll just leave it on high. Oh, yeah. Over, a little bit over 100 watts. Here's the input reflect, 10 watt slug. Oh, yeah. Just a tad bit, not much, looks great. Oh, yeah. This is the input reflect on low. Oh yeah. yeah. A little bit less, not much. Alright. Just for ass and giggles like I usually like to do, we're we'll gonna hook up the hot radio, the stickman modified 29. And all this does right here is it doubles my drive. Okay. From four watts to eight. The power supply that this radio is on, I actually got inside of it and turned it down to whatever it had to be turned to to make the radio that do 8 watts because it was doing over 8 watts. So I just wanted to double my output. That was the only reason I did that. Alright. We're still on peak, so I'll go ahead and show you a peak swing. Oh, yeah. No increase. We'll probably have a little bit of increase in the RMS. Oh, yeah. Almost 80 watts. It's about 70 watts RMS. So it is what it is. Ooh. 15.4 volts is what we're on. All right, off to eBay it goes. 
and a lot of you, a lot of my uh, personal people out there that knows me personal, y'all all know what's going on right now. I appreciate all y'all's prayers and support. During these times, you get to see who your real friends are. That's no doubt about that. God bless the 73rds. On to the next. Merry Christmas coming up.